All right, let's get started with my bedroom phone. So this one I had to recently swap out because I um, was recording off of it. Again, I'll do a video on that. And my speaker was plugged in and somehow the power got back through and it kind of fried it when I was unplugging it. So I grabbed one of the ones that we have in storage and put it out. So um, this is new extension to, it's still like the central answering position and stuff. This one will ring when the other ones won't which is past like 11 o'clock or whatever. So how I'm going to ring this is I'm going to um, use extension four and dial star nine nine, which goes to voicemail. Then I'm going to dial, um, and then I'm gonna flash and then hang up. And then that will make the phones ring back. So, and this one will actually fade in because for some reason when these are last used, they will, it will start, basically this one will start quiet and after five rings it'll slowly gradually go up to full volume. You have no messages. Okay, I literally just plugged this in not too long ago. You just heard it, but this is the Jabra that's still paired to the base upstairs. Um, and I'm gonna ring it and you'll hear it ring. You have no messages. You know, I could pick it up on here, but I can't really dial, so I'm not going to. Next. All right, so this is where extension four usually goes, right where extension three used to be. Um, I'm trying to limit the shot because there's movies and stuff, and I don't want to get copyrighted for those. Even though I don't know if I can, I just don't want to take a chance at this time. So um, I'm going to be dialing with extension two. Extension three was moved temporarily, and now it's in a, back in a temporary spot, um, which is, you'll hear it ring, and then also you'll hear the Southwestern Bell Freedom phone and the Western Electric 500 ring as well. Um, those ha are still pretty much the same. All right. Here we have the Western Electric 500 set, which is still kind of in pieces. I still haven't gotten the stuff to fix it really yet. And so as you can see, it's kind of still in pieces. It's still, you know, you can pick it up and dial and stuff, but it, you can't hear anything out of it. Then of course we have the West Southwestern Bell Freedom phone with the caller ID screen. Now, because of how it's sending the caller ID during this time, it won't, it, on here it will just display error. So I can't, it, it wouldn't be really beneficial to show that because it's really just gonna display error. Um, also, when I do this ring back, the modem sets the time to something random. Like right now it's setting to one o'clock. So um, the time on the phones right now is incorrect because the modem is setting it to one o'clock and not the current time. So I don't know if that's just something weird with the programming from Cox, I don't know. But anyway, let's ring these. I'm using extension two again. You have no messages. This one's ringing. And this one's ringing. Call from nine nine. And this says error. Right, and here we have extension three where it's temporarily residing. So I will ring that. You have no messages. 
That's ringing on tone two. All right, and here we have the phone that's in the furnace room. It's kind of a bit messy in here. Up there is the block that has where all the connections come in and from the modem upstairs. So if I pulled the one of the wires up there, then none of the phones except for the phone that's, you know, the Panasonic system would ring. But anyway, there's a cat. The people used a Cat 5E to run a wire down here, I think, for a DSL modem. But it's plugged into this phone. And now I'm going to ring it. You have no messages. Menu. Okay. 